Parshat Mese, of the Holy Scriptures, according to the Maseratic text, a new translation. Numbers. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Parshat Mese, Numbers 33.1 through 36.13. These are the journeys of the children of Israel, which went forth out of the land of Egypt, with their armies, under the hand of Moses and Aaron. And Moses wrote their goings out, according to their journeys, by the commandment of the Lord. And these are their journeys, according to their goings out. And they departed from Ramses in the first month, on the fifteenth day of the first month, on the morrow, after the Passover, the children of Israel went out with an high hand in the sight of all the Egyptians. For the Egyptians buried all their firstborn, which the Lord had smitten among them, upon their gods also the Lord executed judgments. And the children of Israel removed from Ramses and pitched in Succoth. And they departed from Succoth and pitched in Etham, which is in the edge of the wilderness. And they removed from Etham, and turned again unto Pihaharath, which is before baal Zephon. And they pitched before Migdal. And they departed from before Pihaharath, and passed through the midst of the sea into the wilderness, and went three days' journey in the wilderness of Etham, and pitched in Mara. And they removed from Mara, and came unto Elam, and in Elam were twelve fountains of water, and threescore and ten palm trees, and they pitched there. And they removed from Elam, and encamped by the Red Sea. And they removed from the Red Sea, and encamped in the wilderness of Sin. And they took their journey out of the wilderness of Sin, and encamped in Dophka. And they departed from Dophka, and encamped in Elush. And they removed from Elush, and encamped in Rephidim, where was no water for the people to drink. And they departed from Rephidim, and pitched in the wilderness of Sinai. And they removed from the desert of Sinai, and pitched at kibroth -Hatava. And they departed from kibroth -Hatava, and encamped at Hezeroth. And they departed from Hezeroth, and pitched in Rithma. And they departed from Rithma, and pitched at Ramon Perez. And they departed from Ramon Perez, and pitched in Libna. And they removed from Libna, and pitched at Rissa. And they journeyed from Rissa, and pitched in Kihiletha. And they went from Kihiletha, and pitched in Mount Shafer. And they removed from Mount Shafer, and encamped in Harada. And they removed from Harada, and pitched in Makaloth. And they removed from Makaloth, and encamped at Tahath. And they departed from Tahath, and pitched at Tarah. And they removed from Tarah, and pitched in Mithka. And they went from Mithka, and pitched in Hashmana. And they departed from Hashmana, and encamped at Mazareth. And they departed from Mazareth, and pitched in Benijakin. And they removed from Benijakim and encamped at Horhagadad. And they went from Horhagadgad, and pitched in Jothbatha. And they removed from Jothbatha, and encamped at Ebrana. And they departed from Ebrana, and encamped at Izangaber. And they removed from Izangaber, and pitched in the wilderness of Zin, which is Kadesh. And they removed from Kadesh, and pitched in Mount Hor, in the edge of the land of Edom. And Aaron the priest went up into Mount Hor at the commandment of the Lord, and died there in the fortieth year after the children of Israel were come out of the land of Egypt in the first day of the fifth month. And Aaron was an hundred and twenty and three years old when he died in Mount Hor. And King Arad the Canaanite which dwelt in the south in the land of Canaan, heard of the coming of the children of Israel. And they departed from Mount Hor, and pitched in Zalmanah. And they departed from Zalmanah, and pitched in Punan. 
and they departed from Punan, and pitched in Oboth. And they departed from Oboth, and pitched in Ajibaram, in the border of Moab. And they departed from Im, and pitched in Dibengad. And they removed from Dibengad, and encamped in Almondeblatham. And they removed from Almondeblatham, and pitched in the mountains of Abaram, before Nebo. And they departed from the mountains of Abaram, and pitched in the plains of Moab, by Jordan, near Jericho. And they pitched by Jordan, from Beth Jesimoth, even unto Abel Shittim, in the plains of Moab. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the plains of Moab, by Jordan, near Jericho, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye are passed over Jordan, into the land of Canaan, then ye shall drive out all the inhabitants of the land from before you, and destroy all their pictures, and destroy all their molten images, and quite pluck down all their high places. And ye shall dispossess the inhabitants of the land, and dwell therein. For I have given you the land to possess it. And ye shall divide the land by lot, for an inheritance among your families. And to the more ye shall give the more inheritance, and to the fewer ye shall give the less inheritance. Every man's inheritance shall be in the place where his lot falleth, according to the tribes of your fathers ye shall inherit. But if ye will not drive out the inhabitants of the land from before you, then it shall come to pass, that those which ye let remain of them shall be pricks in your eyes, and thorns in your sides, and shall vex you in the land wherein ye dwell. Moreover it shall come to pass, that I shall do unto you as I thought to do unto them. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Command the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye come into the land of Canaan, this is the land that shall fall unto you for an inheritance, even the land of Canaan, with the coasts thereof. Then your south quarter shall be from the wilderness of Zin, along by the coast of Edom, and your south border shall be the outmost coast of the salt sea eastward. And your border shall turn from the south to the ascent of Acrabim, and pass on to Zin, and the going forth thereof shall be from the south to Kadesh Barnea, and shall go on to Hazaradar, and pass on to Asmon, and the border shall fetch a compass from Asmon unto the river of Egypt, and the goings out of it shall be at the sea. And as for the western border, ye shall even have the great sea for a border. This shall be your west border. And this shall be your north border. From the great sea ye shall point out for you Mount Hor. From Mount Hor ye shall point out your border unto the entrance of Hamath. And the goings forth of the border shall be to Zadad. And the border shall go on to Ziphron. And the goings out of it shall be at Hazarnan. This shall be your north border. And ye shall point out your east border from Hazarnan to Shephem, and the coast shall go down from Shephem to Riblah, on the east side of Ain, and the border shall descend, and shall reach unto the side of the sea of Chinnereth eastward, and the border shall go down to Jordan, and the goings out of it shall be at the salt sea. This shall be your land, with the coasts thereof round about." And Moses commanded the children of Israel, saying, This is the land which ye shall inherit by lot, which the Lord commanded to give unto the nine tribes, and to the half-tribe, for the tribe of the children of Reuben, according to the house of their fathers, and the tribe of the children of Gad, according to the house of their fathers, have received their inheritance, and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance. The two tribes and the half-tribe have received their inheritance on this side, Jordan, near Jericho, eastward, toward the sun-rising. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, These are the names of the men which shall divide the land unto you. Eleazar the priest, 
and Joshua the son of Nun. And ye shall take one prince of every tribe to divide the land by inheritance. And the names of the men are these, of the tribe of Judah, Caleb the son of Jephuniah, and of the tribe of the children of Simeon, Shemuel the son of Amahud, of the tribe of Benjamin, Eladad the son of Chislon, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Dan, Buki, the son of Jogli, the prince of the children of Joseph, for the tribe of the children of Manasseh, Haniel, the son of Ephod, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Ephraim, Kemuel, the son of Shiftan, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Zebulun, Elizaphan, the son of Parnet, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Issachar, Paltiel, the son of Azan, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Asher, Ahihud, the son of Shilomi, and the prince of the tribe of the children of Naphtali, Perahel, the son of Amahud. These are they whom the Lord commanded to divide the inheritance unto the children of Israel in the land of Canaan. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the plains of Moab, by Jordan near Jericho, saying, Command the children of Israel, that they give unto the Levites, of the inheritance of their possession, cities to dwell in. And ye shall give also unto the Levites suburbs for the cities round about them. And the cities shall they have to dwell in, and the suburbs of them shall be for their cattle, and for their goods, and for all their beasts. And the suburbs of the cities, which ye shall give unto the Levites, shall reach from the wall of the city and outward, a thousand cubits round about. And ye shall measure from without the city on the east side two thousand cubits, and on the south side two thousand cubits, and on the west side two thousand cubits, and on the north side two thousand cubits, and the city shall be in the midst. This shall be to them the suburbs of the cities. And among the cities which ye shall give unto the Levites, there shall be six cities for refuge, which ye shall appoint for the manslayer, that he may flee thither, and to them ye shall add forty and two cities. So all the cities which ye shall give to the Levites shall be forty and eight cities, them shall ye give with their suburbs. And the cities which ye shall give shall be of the possession of the children of Israel. From them that have many ye shall give many, but from them that have few ye shall give few. Every one shall give of his cities unto the Levites, according to his inheritance which he inheriteth. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, When ye be come over Jordan into the land of Canaan, then ye shall appoint you cities to be cities of refuge for you, that the slayer may flee thither, which killeth any person at unawares. And they shall be unto you cities for refuge from the avenger, that the manslayer die not until he stand before the congregation in judgment. And of these cities, which ye shall give six cities, shall ye have for refuge. Ye shall give three cities on this side Jordan, and three cities shall ye give in the land of Canaan, which shall be cities of refuge. These six cities shall be a refuge, both for the children of Israel, and for the stranger, and for the sojourner among them, that every one that killeth any person unawares may flee thither. And if he smite him with an instrument of iron, so that he die, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. And if he smite him with throwing a stone, wherewith he may die, and he die, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. Or if he smite him with an hand weapon of wood, wherewith he may die, and he die, he is a murderer. The murderer shall surely be put to death. The revenger of blood himself shall slay the murderer. When he meeteth him, he shall slay him. But if he thrust him of hatred, 
or hurl at him by laying of weight that he die, or in enmity smite him with his hand that he die. He that smote him shall surely be put to death, for he is a murderer. The revenger of blood shall slay the murderer when he meeteth him. But if he thrust him suddenly, without enmity, or have cast upon him anything without laying of weight, or with any stone, wherewith a man may die, seeing him not, and cast it upon him that he die, and was not his enemy, neither sought his harm, then the congregation shall judge between the slayer and the revenger of blood according to these judgments, and the congregation shall deliver the slayer out of the hand of the revenger of blood, and the congregation shall restore him to the city of his refuge, whither he was fled, and he shall abide in it unto the death of the high priest, which was anointed with the holy oil. But if the slayer shall at any time come within the border of the city of his refuge, whither he was fled, and the revenger of blood find him without the borders of the city of his refuge, and the revenger of blood kill the slayer, he shall not be guilty of blood, because he should have remained in the city of his refuge until the death of the high priest. But after the death of the high priest, the slayer shall return into the land of his possession. So these things shall be for a statute of judgment unto you throughout your generations in all your dwellings. Whoso killeth any person, the murderer shall be put to death by the mouth of witnesses, but one witness shall not testify against any person to cause him to die. Moreover, ye shall take no satisfaction for the life of a murderer, which is guilty of death, but he shall be surely put to death. And ye shall take no satisfaction for him that is fled to the city of his refuge, that he should come again to dwell in the land until the death of the priest. So ye shall not pollute the land wherein ye are, for blood it defileth the land, and the land cannot be cleansed of the blood that is shed therein, but by the blood of him that shed it. Defile not therefore the land which ye shall inhabit, wherein I dwell, for I the Lord dwell among the children of Israel. And the chief fathers of the families of the children of Gilead, the son of Maker, the son of Manasseh, of the families of the sons of Joseph came near, and spake before Moses, and before the princes, the chief fathers of the children of Israel. And they said, The Lord commanded my Lord to give the land for an inheritance by lot to the children of Israel. And my Lord was commanded by the Lord to give the inheritance of Zelophehad, our brother, unto his daughters. And if they be married to any of the sons of the other tribes of the children of Israel, then shall their inheritance be taken from the inheritance of our fathers, and shall be put to the inheritance of the tribe whereunto they are received. So shall it be taken from the lot of our inheritance. And when the jubilee of the children of Israel shall be, then shall their inheritance be put unto the inheritance of the tribe whereunto they are received. So shall their inheritance be taken away from the inheritance of the tribe of our fathers. And Moses commanded the children of Israel, according to the word of the Lord, saying, The tribe of the sons of Joseph hath set well. This is the thing which the Lord doth command, concerning the daughters of Zelophehad, saying, Let them marry to whom they think best, only to the family of the tribe of their father shall they marry. So shall not the inheritance of the children of Israel remove from tribe to tribe, for every one of the children of Israel shall keep himself to the inheritance of the tribe of his fathers. And every daughter that possesseth an inheritance in any tribe of the children of Israel shall be wife unto one of the family of the tribe of her father, that the children of Israel may enjoy every man the inheritance of his fathers. Neither shall the inheritance remove from one tribe to another tribe, but every one of the tribes of the children of Israel shall keep himself to his own inheritance. Even as the Lord commanded Moses, 
so did the daughters of Zelophehad, for Mala, Tirzah, and Hagla, and Milka, and Noah, the daughters of Zelophehad, were married unto their fathers, brothers, sons, and they were married into the families of the sons of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, and their inheritance remained in the tribe of the family of their father. These are the commandments and the judgments which the Lord commanded by the hand of Moses unto the children of Israel in the plains of Moab by Jordan near Jericho. End of Parshat Maysay. Recording by Scarlet, Louisiana. End of the Holy Scriptures according to the Masoretic Text a new translation numbers published by the jewish publication society of america